And now we're gonna just kind of go to add. I'm gonna to happen to add another strip here. Um, and I really want you guys to pay attention to what I'm doing here in this section. So I'm gonna to go to classic, we'll pull in, you know, like a white one, have that fall right below. And now we have our second section here, right? And now we're gonna go into tools, to bar, and I'm gonna make this, let's say about a 940 pixels in height. All right, and what I wanna actually put here is a gallery. All right, so I'm gonna to go to add, I'm gonna to go to gallery, I'm gonna grab the Wix Pro gallery, and we're gonna put that right on the strip. Okay, that's all we need to do here. And now next, I can make it full width. All right, now this is again, another example of another responsive element that we've introduced, you know, to the classic editor and making the site more adaptive. So I can go ahead and stretch that to full width. Um, and instead of changing the margin of like just this gallery, right, I can also just keep it regular and then change the margin of the actual strip itself. And you're, and you're saying this is going to sort of be, it's going to be more adaptive, whether I'm on a small desktop or mobile or anything like that. Exactly. Right. That's and really just, awesome. Yep, and then just notice how, when I kind of change the margin of the strip, the, you know, gallery itself also kind of changed as well. So again, that's the reasons why we use strips, you know, everything kind of inherits what you put inside of it, provided that you do it in this, in this order. Well, that's a great question. And, and Tanja just actually asked a great question. Why, why are you adding margin? Why, why, what's the advantage of adding a margin here? I mean, I want to do it as a design choice, right? You might want to keep it full mm -hmm. screen. I'm adding a margin because I did want it to have a little bit of white space, you know, but I didn't want it to be as narrow as the page structure, right? Because this doesn't look that great as having it full width, you know, but I also did want to still take some advantage of, you know, having some white, you know, margin on the right and to the left of it. So again, I kind of went and I broke the boundary. And then I told Wix, actually, I want to just give it 20 pixels instead of what you would have gave me if I didn't use a strip, you know? And that's the control that you happen to use a strip. Okay. Awesome. That's great. That's a great question, Tanja. Thank you. And Anthony, thank you for grabbing that. You got it. All right. So as you can see here, I'm going to go into manage my media and I'm going to just go ahead and select all of these and we'll delete them. Um, and one key thing about the Wix Pro Gallery is that it's not only for images. You can also add, you know, text and you can also add video as well. So I'm going to click on add media here. Can you, can you add SVG files? Um, you cannot add SVG files to the Wix Pro Gallery. You have to add a vector first and then replace the vector with your own SVG. Yeah. So it's possible to, to do it, but that's the process, right? Because that was a question. I'm just curious. Correct. Yep. Great. All right. And now here, what I'll do is I'll just maybe type in, you know, I'm in now my unsplash option on the left-hand side. I'm going to look at some glamping. By the and way, Sean says he, he, he loves that he saw this. He wished he had seen it before it took him uh, uh, forever to... to figure out the, the margin. So that little tip was really awesome. He said, yeah. thanks. It took me a long time too. It actually took me out of the 10 years I used Wix, maybe a few to figure it out. Um, so I'm glad <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm able to catch you guys first couple sites in. <laughs> well, Latoya is enjoying the webinar and that makes me happy. So I'm glad Latoya. Awesome. All right. And as, as you can see, I just kind of replaced you know, everything that I have. And while I'm doing this, I'll maybe even go into settings and I'll, I'll change up the style. So What's really awesome about the Wix Pro Gallery is that I can change the layouts pretty nicely here. I'm just gonna go ahead and customize this. I think I want maybe four images per row, not two, not three, but four. There we go. And again, look how just nice it just sits on top of that, you know, strip, right? Like super clean. I really can control everything I'm doing here. Um, and again, just really makes for a really simple, you know, design structure. All right. I'm gonna actually use the the drag handle. So this is again, very important. So I'm using the drag handle because I want to make space to put um, a title within this section. If I just drag this, it's going to just overlap the strip and that's not good. You see that? It's not going to actually be on that strip. Yeah, I'm that doesn't look good. Yeah, I'm going to drag it. I'm going to make that space on that strip. Now that space is still on that strip and I can add like a cool title right here. All right, so that's oh. why I'm going to go back over and grab some text. All right, so now this is very important too. This was my first heading that I added, right? It was a heading one, it was white, it was a size 60, it was the same font that I'm gonna be using today. However, I wanna have a secondary option because I know that for contrast purposes, I'm gonna to wanna to have another version that's black, but I don't wanna keep changing it to a different color every single time I add it. So I'm gonna go over to add, I'm gonna to go to text and I'm gonna grab heading two. I'm gonna place it right on my strip, all right? And I'm gonna start customizing this again but this time, I think I, know, I want the color to be black for my site colors, or even maybe even in like a nice darker gray. Let's do that one. And I will change this up to the same font that I'm using before. 
and I will go ahead and save that here. All right, now just like that, every single time that I'm adding a heading to, it's gonna pull this exact styling, which is gonna be ideal for whenever I, I'm using like a, a really nice white background. All right, and then I can close it up. All right, so I can just say, and glamping, and boom, there we go. All right, another option could be the same thing if I wanted to add also like some additional text right below it. Again, I can just click on it, drag, I'm gonna go over to add, and this time I'll go over into text. I'll pull in the second paragraph type. I'll go in, customize this, change the size to about 20, change this to rebuttal thin, and we'll go ahead and we'll save that theme. And boom, there we go. All right, and I can maybe pretty much customize that text with whatever I want. You know, change the size of the text box, drag it back up. I want some additional spaces. All right, and there we go here. So again, super clean. You know, the ability to kind of add these sections in really nicely and you get a really nice result, you know, when it's all done. All right. So I know, Brett, you might be getting some questions coming in. So, I mean, let me know, you know, whatever kind of uh, questions that come in. I think this is- Oh, super there, kind of there's a lot. <laughs> there's, there's a lot. And, and uh, Daisy asked a good question. Are all these features, uh, and, and I answered it, but I'll, I'll, I'll ask it, are all these features available for all sites or are these uh, what you're doing within the editor locked to a specific premium? So for example, if I'm making a new site for a, a potential client or a client, do I have to pay before I have these features or are they all unlocked already? Nah, no, actually you can kind of go in and just start to, to build everything. I think, well, that's another beautiful thing about which is that, you know, you go to like, you know, certain other platforms, you might have to, you know, kind of upgrade before you can even add a certain number of static pages, right? But in which you can practically build out the entire site, you know, from A to Z. And the only time you would have to really upgrade is if you wanted to see some real payment take place, you know, or a transaction. So I think it's really beautiful that you can just kind of put, jump in and build whatever you want, you know, um, and, and again, limits, you know. Sure, and and I'll, I'll just grab one more. Uh, there's such great questions and, and comments and there's a lot of people asking questions and other, other people are answering them. But uh, Bobby asked a great question. What are the SEO implications with setting H2 versus H1? And uh, Bobby, I'll answer your other question. Yes, you can import other fonts, but but what's the implications between H1 and H2, Anthony? I mean, so you know, your H1 is going to be your primary heading, right? Like the one that Google's going to look at as the most prominent, and then your H2 is going to be a supporting text to that H1. Um, you can actually build out a hierarchy of up to you know H1 all the way up to down, or, or still up to a priority of H6. So you can actually build. If I go back into what I was showing earlier on. And I could go in here and just kind of put in again H1 all the way down to H6, right? Defining that priority is super, super important in Wix, and we make it simpler to be able to do that. It's a great answer. Thank you. And thank you for asking that, Bobby. Okay, go ahead, Anthony. All right, here we go. So again, we got a beautiful gallery here. We got some dogs in, in the pictures. That's amazing. Always cool to have that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to continue out. Um, but this time I'm going to actually add some, some navigation because I want you to start seeing how this menu is going to form and everything starts to come together before I build out my last fold and then eventually my footer. Um, so we're gonna start by going over to add. Um, I'm gonna add a menu under menu. And we'll see that we have tons of options. And again, just notice how it kind of pulls in all of the exact same themes that you have from before. So I'm gonna pull that right into my header. Okay, and within my header, I have grid lines, right? For that center section. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just pop that in, making sure my content stays in place. And then now I want to make sure that my fonts are consistent so I can go into customize. Um, I can go to text, I can pull in my theme text and I'll use my paragraph one. Okay, and just like that, now my menu is starting to come to life, almost. All right, uh, the next thing I want to dive into, I know we had a question at some point about anchors and what they are, so I want to use them. Um, so I want to go over into add. Um, in menu, I'll also find a section called anchors and I'll be able to add in an anchor. I just drag it and drop it to the point of the page in which I want the top of the fold to rest on. Okay, and I'll rename this my gallery. So by the way, it took me forever to find that. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, no, no, <laughs> it, it, and just seeing you do it, had I watched this before I started designing, yeah, that would have saved me so, just like, just like uh, with, the, with the other things you were talking about that, that helped her. I wish I had seen this. It was so easy once I knew where it was though. So, exactly. so mean, that's, that's an anchor. Do that, that one more time. We need to touch that one more time. Just for me, <laughs> yeah. Anthony. All right, cool. I got it. So remember to add. 
Um, I went down to menu, all right, underneath all the menu options that you have, click on anchor, and you just literally take the cool anchor and you just drag it and you place it wherever you want. Easy peasy. You rename it so you can easily identify what it is when you want to link it up. You know, super cool. Um, so right now we got our first one and it's called gallery. Now, what if I wanted to actually make this applicable link in the menu? I can just go, you know, over to manage pages. I'll click on add a link. And I'm going to say that on my homepage, I have an anchor and the anchor is called gallery. And I want to add that. And once I do, you'll see new link pop up. I'll say gallery. I'll click on done. And now, boom, there it is. Super simple. All right. First yep, photo. Very nice. Oh, done. All right. 